It's kind of crazy. It's a turn-based JRPG. I mean, I feel like that's just sort of the Virgil fights in general, yeah. That's also the same with, like, Dante in Virgil's campaign. You just, like, wait to punish him and, like, that's kind of it. Technically, JDC him when he RGs. You just have to, um, to call. You just have to jump every so often. Dante just has, yeah, like, he has, uh, what's it called? He just has super armor everywhere. He, um... He's not terrible to fight, though, honestly. All you have to do is just sort of wait out his patterns. If you just wait out his strings, then it's like, okay, whatever, dude. It's like, whatever, bro. Sounds good. Yo, what's up, Neon Sun? How are you doing? Well, thank you very much, Neon Sun. You are also awesome. I hope you have a wonderful day. Tori 3D costs one dollar, dude. I might, I might grab that for a fucking dollar. Fuck yeah. Also, I started using Ring Fit the last couple of days. I am pretty happy so far with the purchase. Are we allowed to not have sound on DMC5 run submissions? All runs have to have game audio. I don't care about the music, but you have to have game audio. If the whole VOD gets muted, then that's, like, something. Not at all times. Like, if, if there's, like, a minute or so where, um, your game gets muted because of, like, copyrighted music or something, I'm not really gonna care about that, so. But if it's, like, the whole run is just dead silent, no game audio or anything, then, yeah, no. If you want to mute yourself, then, sure. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to play with a mic or anything. Yeah, no problem. Oh, thank you, Socio. Yep, I got Vanquish into SGDQ, Lewis. We used to have a strict no, like, mutes or anything. Like, if the VOD got muted at all due to copyright music, it was a rejection, but... And then we kind of, um... 
and we relaxed on that. Yeah, I mean, we also thought that the game was going to be more popular speed-wise than it was. So we took precautions when we probably didn't need to. Now all that gets run is, like, Bloody Palace and... <laughs> fucking uh prologue runs i see very few like full game runs they're there and we're getting like steady submissions but a lot of runs are bloody pals Well, to be fair, Sergio, like, DMC5 Nero is, like, the best Bloody Palace run, like, in the whole series. It's a really sick run. Virgil's pretty alright, too. What is the DT equivalent for Lady? She sends out a bunch of uh, grenades around her and it does a bunch of damage. You'll see it here in the upcoming fight. It's just called Burst Attack. It's kind of an underwhelming DT equivalent. Well, that's one way to do it, Lewis. There are some people that submit to us some super, super costume runs for Virgil. So there's burst attack. I don't find any enjoyment in limited unlimited DT, yeah, but it's there for those that want to use it. It is there for those that want to use it. And that's the beauty of these games, is that you can just play them the way that you want. It does do a lot of damage though, Crossfire. And eventually when I decide if when I'm gonna do New Game Legendary Dark Knight with these two, there's one room in particular in Legendary Dark Knight where a ton of white orbs drop and you get to just like do back-to-back -back burst attacks on all these Angelos and it's just like, oh yeah. What would a DT power-up state for Lady be like? Um, I honestly don't know. I feel like... Just have her, like, power up her ammo and her guns or something. Or it would be, like, some sort of augmented reflexes state. You'd have to give her something similar to Vanquish. No, that's Trish. Trish just puts shades on. I would say just have her change the type of ammo that's in the, the guns. Like you could have her do, um, what's it called? Like explosive shots, flame shots, poison or gas or whatever you want to do. Just kind of lean into the, um, the Resident Evil influence a little bit.
That would be the way that I would do it anyway. But it's really a Stealth Vanquish sequel? That would be fucking sick, dude. You got no idea, my G. I would be all over that. Absolutely all over that. That's the next game that I want, to be honest with you. Like, if you said to me, like, what what would you want the next DMC game to be? I would say a spin-off of Lady and Trish. Because that would be fucking sick. Oh, no, he means, like, it's a sneaky, like, sequel. Not, like, a stealth game. It's just that they stealthily make a, a sequel to Vanquish. That's what I think Soshi is saying. pretty good gold too they will just make it a mobile game no don't say that yeah no problem crossfire it's a pretty interesting way to phrase it to be fair They're all just costumes. Jesus Christ. I mean, they all could be, because Dante can just do anything. Like, if Dante wanted to, he could probably wield Red Queen. He could probably just wield whatever he wanted to. And he's already got summon swords. That's a cool mechanic. What if I just... Yoink. Fucking yoinks. Yoink city, baby. Probably gave Virgil... Doppelganger too, because Dante would still still be so busted without it. I mean, with it. Can you imagine like modern Dante with Doppelganger? Jesus Christ! If there was a way to do double real impacts. Oh boy. Oh boy. Double distorted real impacts. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I play these video games for. Is doing double distorted real impacts. What new weapons could Dante have in DMC6? He could have... Oh, double bike juggle. Oh, Dave, you're speaking my language, dude. You're speaking my language. I love it. Um, what could he have? He could have a bow. Could have a pike or a trident. Could give him you could give him his own katana to be honest
I really wish that they had given uh, Virgil barehanded instead of Beowulf. Just let that man duff people, dude. Or another musical instrument, yeah. Like, so, so think about this, right? So imagine if he had a weapon that had a mode like Pandora's gunship, but it was a drum set. Yeah, every drum will shoot out something. Yeah, drum set is a weapon, dude. That would be fucking sick. I'd be down for it. And he could probably have, like, the sticks or something, too, or something. I don't know, man. That'd be kind of cool. Virgil with a violin. I think that would be more of a V weapon than Virgil. I probably should have grabbed that star, but it's fine. I needed to grab Blaster, but I mean, that's fine too. Oh, I can grab Blaster here, I think. Um, so, yeah, Blaster. Hollow point. Bouquet of flowers as a ranged weapon would be sick. Yo, they should they should give him the Bob Ross weapon. Just give that man a set of paints. I guess they could also give him the ice skates that they talked about too. What's up, by the way, Ebby Variants? Oh, you're working on Assault Spy Extreme Mode right now. Good luck, Tetsuo. Thank you for the six months as well, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, bud. think of other weapons that he could have. A scythe would be good. Maybe an axe. Axe or a hammer. I feel like a hammer would be good. Halberd, yeah. I'm also trying to think of ways to like, like other things that are a little bit more ridiculous. Yo, what up? Raijin Dragon, what's up? Yo, how are you both doing? Dude, I a game bad controller as a weapon. Okay. Alright, thinking outside the box. Breaking the fourth wall a little bit. I back it. Imagine if he just had an arcade stick. Yeah, acts like as an as an arbiter, yeah. How the run's coming along? They're pretty alright, man. Glad you're enjoying that Mario Kart with your friends. I'm going for sub hour in this run, so I gotta save about two minutes. You just had a wig you ordered like two months ago show up in the mail. Is that my wig? Oh, this this is fun with Lady and Trish, Raijin. Lady just busts out the blicky, the fucking double barrel shotgun, and it's like boom, boom. Just done. Like, check it out. Bam. We're just out here. Just swinging. Waking up and choosing violence. 
Uh, Yang Zhao Long or what? Is that who we're talking about? Yang Zhao Long? Oh, uh, Zhao from Genshin. Nah, I ain't got that kind of figure, dude. Who's the femboy from Genshin that everybody's like talking about or whatever? Ah, uh, Venti, that's what it is, yeah. Oh, I thought that I thought that Kyo had ordered a Yang Zhao Long wig smash, but he did not. Amen, Vivi. Amen. Yo, I want Dante to get a fucking crossbow that's like the Ballista from Doom Eternal. Straight up. Sunglasses would be good, too. Yo, what's up, TV Dinner? TV Dinner is a pretty good name, by the way. Nah, Yang from Ruby. That motherfucking ball. That motherfucker ball. <laughs> Shave my head and paint a blue arrow on it. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. <clears throat> Alright, everybody. The run could die here. I'd still... I'll still continue with it, probably, but... Damn, <laughs> Bran. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> This game's sick, TV dinner. Yeah, we roasting out here. Probably, but like, damn. Bran's just mad because his dad, Marshall Mathers, left him when he was so young. And then he had to get adopted by his cousin, Fred Durst. Bran was like, all right, I'm going to gain some weight so that I don't look like Eminem no more. And it's like, dog, you just look like slightly inflated Fred Durst. I did get into GDQ. Hold on one second here. Got it. All right, run can continue. Don't listen to V from Wish.com. He's tripping. I mean, true. Well, you don't gotta say it like that. We could, yeah, we could definitely get some shitty tattoos and a cane. I could probably, I could definitely pull off great value V look, dude. I, now I just need a cat, even though I'm like allergic to cats and shit. <coughs> oh yeah, absolutely, Manix. I definitely think so too. How dare, how dare you be so mean to Ondor? I could just use a cat plushie, yeah. Cat cat plushie would probably be probably better. Everyone, yeah. Well, I mean, like, you can only let so many people in, dude. Like, so many people got rejected. He was climbing the underside of your bed. Holy fuck. He almost got the fucking smoke. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Mans was out there doing spider cat impersonations. God damn. Please return this here. Oh, is this gonna be a gold? I think this is gonna be a gold. A gold. All right. She do do damage, dude. She just be out here. Just pop, 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 pop. Oh, a milliseconds PB. <laughs> or milliseconds gold, cool. Good shit. <coughs> the thing about, about Lady Raijin is that like, I don't know if you prefer Raijin or Rob. Um, she's mostly a brick that breathes damage. Ron, not Rob. What am I saying? Ron. I robbed him of his identity, man. Her double jump does damage, yeah. That is true. But generally speaking, like, her, her air options are not great. Like, a lot of what she does is from a grounded state. But most of the time, you just kind of charge up the shotgun, and then you're just, you're just good to go. Her rocket launcher also does a ton of damage, but that's less important in the run. The thing about her shotgun is that like it does damage comparable to the rocket launcher, but you don't have to stand in one spot for it to happen. Honestly, TV dinner, I didn't have a, a PS3 for a, a while when this game was out, so I had to wait to get it and I really wanted to play it. I only played like DMC3 for a while. I had like the the What's it called? I had the, um, the five-year anniversary collection on PS2. Oh, you played it on PC on a demo disc? Oh, shit. OG stats right there. OG strats. Fuck off, dude. Of course, dude. Oh, you just thought it was like a, like that was the game. You were just like, oh, okay, well, this is this must just be the game. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. What was it? A uh, burial? I assume it was burial. Yeah, the flaming dude. Yep, burial. Okay, no, that's not what I want. Come on, dude. Fucking menu delay. Oh my god, dude. Good god. <laughs> These menus right now, dude. I fucking hate the menus in this game sometimes. I mean, you're saying looking at you, Capcom, but like, they're playing a Capcom demo. Oh, 
Also, Capcom's demos lately are probably just to drive engagement online. They're not meant to be, like, picked apart or played multiple times at the moment. Yeah, I saw that shit. It has four different menu speeds to playing on pat platform. Good God. And they rightfully fear them, Drew. I mean, you can actually reset all those, uh, what's it called? You can reset all of those demos to play them multiple times. Cursed Toast figured out a way to do it. So, y'all just over there. How are the loads on PS5 for 15? I don't actually know. They seemed all right when Kyo's was, when I saw Kyo's running it. Who's the fastest character in DMC4? Definitely Virgil. Virgil by like six minutes or something, maybe more. Let's see if we can keep this alive. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time to save on, like, just loads, basically. Is that just loads? Or is there also, like, work rate related stuff there? Ah, okay. That's, yeah, that's wild. That's a kind of a cool run, too. I appreciate that run a lot because of, like, all the... the breaks that you have in it, too. So it's like... Even though it's a four-hour run, you're not really in danger of, like, any health issues while running that, that run. Because you can get up, go to the bathroom... Do all that stuff. And it's it's pretty manageable. Can you actually activate this thing? Thank you. What does Chapter 3 Drive do?
Ah, uh, saves only three seconds. Okay, fair. Or six seconds, I'm sorry, 6.3 seconds. It's kind of crazy that manually driving like that saves a small amount of time. It's a cool run. I've certainly enjoyed uh, watching Kyo's grind it out. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. <coughs> oh, good, a gold. <coughs> What's Dante's problem? He's a douche. Bam. I thought much bigger gold than I expected, I tell you what. Holy cow. Did Dante actually just save the run? Only time will tell. Well, this is a, um, what's it called? This is a, the same campaign as the regular DMC4. It's just you play with Lady and Trish. And Dante, in the story, just is messing with Nero. So he fights him to gauge his strength or whatever. And that's why he's a boss. And I'll tell you why he was cooperating today is because my theory was that if I overpowered the, his wake-up frames with the active frames of, like, level 3 shotgun, then it would just be, like good to go and it worked out isn't that what all uncles do I, th I assume so yeah nice <laughs> only cool uncles shoot the Pope in the face very true Dude, Dante, yeah, Mango, like, Dante's literally just Superman in this game. He could end this shit, like, way sooner, but he just lets Nero do all of it. It's like, yeah, you got that, kid. Yep, that sounds like Dante. That absolutely sounds like Dante. Another gold? Jesus. Good God. <coughs> I remembered last second that Igna wanted some, uh, some Gloria. All right, bare knuckle, high voltage, rolling thunder two, thunder blow, and Azuma two.
What's my opinion on DMC 2013? Uh, I enjoyed the game. There's no reason for it to exist, but it's not a bad game. And now that DMC 5 exists, we can just kind of take it for what it is. I run the game too, so it's fun. All right, let me see if I can actually do this. Hold on. Jesus God. All right, everybody, hold on to your fucking bit rate. All right, anyway. Now nah, this split's not named. Come on, game. Be nice. Thank you. Trish is fucking Wall Street, dude. Trish is 100% like the Wall Street of this game. She just fucking breaks the economy, dude. It's like, what the fuck? So, what else do y'all want to know about, like, what I think about DMC, Devil May Cry? Hold on to my bitrate be too long? It might be, actually. We could just do, like, bitrate go burr or something like that. Opinion on the hat. The greatest buff that Virgil received in Definitive Edition was getting rid of that fucking fedora. I tell you what. Dude, what? Okay, yep. I knew I was going to lose time here. Good god, I'm probably going to like lose all the time that I saved and shit. DMC tier list. Um would this be like personal preference or which games I think are designed the best? Oh my God, dude. How did I lose so much time here? Good fucking Christ. Anyway. What's up, by the way, Risotto? So, my favorite is DMC5, and then DMC3, and then DMC4, then DMC1, then Reboot, then DMC2. Pretty, pretty inoffensive list. All the time lost selecting this costume. Lol. Hold on one sec. Uh, DMC2 is just really bland. That's the problem with it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like decent things in that game. A lot of really good ideas. It just ends up coming off like really bland because the game had like no time to be developed, so. Dot Enzo Bob. 
You mean like the the reboot show? I haven't watched reboot the show like in forever. It has been so long since that show. Oh yeah, I haven't I just haven't seen it in a while. So I wouldn't I wouldn't even be able to answer seriously to combat that. Fuck off, game! Oh my god, dude. Good old Echidna, man. Losing just 40 seconds. Wonderful, man. Absolutely great. Yeah, I agree too. Uh, TV dinner. Right though? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was Trish's fault mostly, but. Yo, what's up, Mikey? Thanks for the good luck. Ruben as SMT. Dante is like really weird, but works, I guess. You could hire anybody to do that, Dante. That is true. DMC4 is technically Trish's fault. Okay. Man, if this PVs. Oh, are they? Damn. That's kind of funny. How does she have Pandora? Look, man, don't ask questions. It's a DMC alternate characters campaign. Game! I'd be really surprised if we didn't see a DMC1 remake at some point. Yeah, who knows? Virgil has... Virgil has fucking Beowulf in DMC5. Nobody knows. That would be as likely an explanation as anything, Adroit. He just steals his son's arm and then he's like, alright, time to break into this fucking pawn shop, dude. Yay, we gained some time. With Trish. 
Yay. All right, so this mission here. I have an extra holy water for it. Just in case Frog gives me bad RNG. Hopefully he won't. Gets <laughs> angry at somebody stealing his yogurt. Yeah, I can see that. Were you playing at Locked 60 TV dinner? Or were you playing at Variable? Oh yeah, like the DMC fans definitely don't spam Capcom at all. No way, Jose. They didn't post, you know, Virgil DLC on every post on Twitter for a fucking year. Maybe even two years. We also can't force Capcom to do anything. Capcom will do shit when they, when they damn well please. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's got nothing to do with fan demand. If people could demand a game and then just not buy it I honestly don't really th even think that DMC1 makes it needs a remake. It'd be cool to see to bring it in line with the rest of the series, but I don't really think it needs it. One and two. Yeah, I agree, Mikey. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Adroit? Uh, I want them to implement Dante's styles. Sorry for a remake don't exist to me until I see a trailer. Till I see the announcement trailer. Word. Mario 5 make when with better AI. See, Sheva's AI is like surprisingly consistent through a lot of the game. 
And her pathing is actually a lot better when she has a weapon. But there's there's certain parts of the game where she's just a, a total bitch. Oh yeah, none of that's like founded at all either. Hugby is like, they want you to believe that that's the case, but it's really not. Well, there's also Dust Golem as well. And the funniest part is that none of them ever know about... Um, none of them ever knew about, like, the Silent Hill and Dead by Daylight collabs. None of them ever mentioned that. And then all of a sudden that came out of like fucking nowhere. It's like, all right, where are your fucking leaks now, idiots? I have, I have no idea on the Metal Gear shit either. See, I don't think RE6 needs to be fixed on like a mechanical level. I think it just needs to be fixed on a, uh, what's it called, level? On a pacing level. <coughs> RE6 mechanically is a lot of fun. Just the pacing sucks. Where do I find the pacing to drag? The beginning of Leon, all the vehicle sections, um, a couple of spots in Jake. Um, that's the big ones. The, the vehicle sections are the biggest defender. All the big, like, Ustanok chase sequences, too, in Jake. Boy, that was fucking annoying. RE6 is fun. I would recommend RE6. <coughs> hey, what's up, Robin? How are you doing? The story is also kind of convoluted. I, I feel like the... What's it called? The villain in RE6 is just not like 
a good RE villain, like at all. Yo, what's up, Blackouts? How are you doing? Who's the best RE villain? RE5 Wesker. Ain't nobody ever came close. RE5 Wesker, and that's not up for debate. No siree, Bob. Cottage pie from yesterday. Toffee milkshake. A. A. Yo. That's what I'm talking about. You think this was also in the demo? Huh. It was probably a Dante level and a Nero level. Ah, uh, yeah, this run was good. This one was really good, Blackouts, for a little while, but, um... It's just okay now. Come on, game. Fuck off, dude. That was like barely enough to recloak him. Although source code is probably just lying around somewhere. Yo, for sure, Theo. Sounds good to me, champ. Why did that do no fucking damage? Ah, oh, come on, Trish. Come on, Agnes. What a fucking dickweed, dude. Oh my god, and now I have to hope and fucking pray for good RNG on Savior. Oh my god, dude. This is the worst possible scenario. I wanted to build up enough time save to avoid this, dude. Oh no. Oh, it's just a different costume for Trish, Living Glitch. Oh, and it's the bad RNG. Unfortunate. This could be the end for our hero. This could be the end for our hero. That's true, too, Vivi. It's very true. That was probably it. We're gonna just have to play our asses off on mission 19 and 20. And just, just fucking pray. Hold on a second here. Is 
Is that gonna kill him? Yes. Nope. Wow. All of it gone, dude. Fuck. Damn. We got 20 seconds to save here. We got 20 seconds to save. I did indeed get Kiosed. Indeed. I might be able to save a little bit of extra time here too. I think I know. I think I know why. Man, this run could have been so much better. Here we go. That's how we do it. <coughs> Alright, now we gotta hope for good RNG on What's it called? On frog. I hope that was good. Yeah, that was good. Gotta hope for good RNG on frog. Swallow me. Nope, yeah, that's fine. That is a okay. I will take that every day. I will take that every day. Now we gotta just hope for Echidna. Cool, Echidna was good. Alright, Agnes. Alright, Agnes. like nothing. Okay. Cool. Good. I should be able to just do that. And then just, yep. Okay. Good. Oh boy. All right, this should PB. <coughs> I just have to buy a few holy waters and then we're good to go. Yep, okay. Oh, it should be a low. It should be a low 101. Nice. Oh boy. 
What a fucking roller coaster that was. Nah, that's not sub hour. It's a 101.13.